everybody, it's Sam from Practically Posh Life joining you uh, for another video that's Christmas related. Um, this video today is going to be about what I got my toddlers for their stockings. Um, so if you haven't, my first video in this kind of Christmas themed videos was what I got my toddlers for Christmas. So if you've not already watched that video, check it out. I will link it down below and I will also put up like one of those iCard things that will tell you how to get to the video. Um, so hopefully if you do watch it or if you already did watch it, you found it helpful and I'm hoping that this video is timely enough where you have plenty of time to get some ideas for stocking stuffers for your toddlers. I love stocking stuffers. I view that as a way to get a couple of extra presents in there and, and cute little items that are inexpensive that are just going to kind of be a preview to when they see the tree. Um, and for this age group, it's a lot of fun and for reference, if you have not watched any of my prior videos. Uh, I have two little girls. One is two years old. She just turned two a couple of months ago. And then I have another little girl who is almost four. She'll be four two weeks before Christmas. So for reference, I'm just going to keep calling her four-year-old. Um, so a two-year-old and a four-year-old. And this age is, again, a lot of fun to shop for. Uh, I find it easier to get stocking stuffers for them than my husband, um, who is, it's very difficult <laughs> to figure out little things to get him. Um, so if you have any ideas, comment down below and give me ideas for, for men that, that work out well for stocking stuffers. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to jump into stocking stuffers. And the first thing I'm going to start with is showing you the stocking. So this is the stocking that we use. And this is my stocking. I just quick pulled it out of the garage, which we're going to have to do that anyway because we're putting up the decorations this weekend. But um, this is from Pottery Barn. It is a little bit pricey, but I view uh, this stocking as an investment piece that is a staple that will hang in there year after year and I'm hoping that the family has them for many, many years to come and that it survives the girl's entire childhood. So each one of us has this stocking the same size. I believe this is either the medium size or the large size stocking. It's a velvet material. Uh, each of our names are embroidered on it and it is excellent quality. So I truly believe it is going to hold up over the years and I just love having these kind of sentimental family items that hang in there year after year. So I don't want to switch out stockings every year. I don't want to go trendy. I wanted to really get traditional pieces that I could invest in and that every year I bring it out and get that nostalgic feeling that, you know, it's time for Christmas, the stockings are up and, and I want the girls to look back and say, oh, I remember my stocking. And it was always the same each year. So each of us have these in alternating colors. So mine is red with the green top. My husband's is green with the red top and the girls have a version of each. All of us have the same size. I did not go with the smaller size for the kids because they are going to grow up eventually. And if I want to keep this for years to come, I didn't want them to start out with a really small stocking. And then I'm like, oh, I have to trade it in for a bigger stocking. So this is the stocking. It's from Powdery Barn. And we have the matching tree skirt as well that has our family name embroidered on it. And again, that was meant to be uh, for the long haul. And quite frankly, I got a view because that was my justification to my husband for spending that kind of money on stockings and a tree skirt. So um, he's going to look for it every year for the next like 20 years because that's about how, much, how long it should last based on how much we paid for it. So let's jump into what uh, is going to be in these stockings. Uh, I'll start with my youngest, who's two. Um, some of these things I've gotten over the last several months and a lot of them are from the Target dollar spot, um, from Walmart, different things like that. So you should be able to find some of them, but the Target dollar spot is a little bit different. I think it's called Bullseye's Playground now. It's a little bit different because it switches things out. So some of this stuff I got over the summer and just put it away. So it was nice that now that I was doing this video, I'm like digging through all sorts of cabinets in the house and different closets because I just tuck things away. <laughs> and then I have to find everything that I tucked away. But so hopefully you'll be able to still find some of these items in store. All right. So for candy, there's only really one candy item in there. I don't, they don't need a lot of candy. And at this age, they, they don't need to, and they don't ask for it. But I did get this little Peppa Pig, um, kinder, like it's a surprise egg, um, similar to like the kinder egg, but there's a little toy inside it. So I thought this would really be fun for them because it's got that chocolate outer shell. And then inside there's a little Peppa Pig toy. Um, so they each got one of these. I got this at Walmart and it was $1.98. Uh, and this is one of those things that are right by the register. So as you're like checking out and you have all the candy and snacks right by the register, this is one of the items that are right by the register. Um, and it's something that you probably pass a million times and think, oh, I'll get it eventually. Don't wait until like the week before Christmas because these are the kind of stocking stuffer items that everyone will pick up and then you won't be able to find it. So 
Um, just snag it. It's $1.98 and it's right by the register. At checkout, so I just grabbed two of these. I also got one of these play packs. I love these um, for the car ride and just when we're going out, restaurants, things like that. So I grabbed one that's Peppa Pig um, for my youngest. And this one is different than the ones we usually get, which is usually coloring books, some crayons and stickers. This one are like uh, boards with washable markers, a fun paint, um, fun paint, a page fun pad and 25 stickers. Um, and I think that the actual like boards poke out. So this will be interesting for her. And this one um, I found at Dollar Tree. So if you go to Dollar Tree, this should be there for a dollar. And I thought it was a lot of fun. From the Target dollar spot over the summer, I got these little glittery puffy stickers that have unicorns and rainbows and cute little fun sayings. Um, and I just honestly was drawn to the sparkliness of it. Aren't they adorable? So this was a dollar. Um, I also got this unicorn pen and this is a multicolor ball pen that has that little part at the top where you can click down which color you want. Uh, and then it's got a little tassel thing on it. That's a rainbow. I just thought it was really pretty cute. Um, she's just starting to like want to write with pens and stuff. Uh, she's not any good at it, but she likes to color and hold pens. So I thought that this was cute and I love that she can use different colors with it. Also from the Target Dollar Spot over the summer were these little books. And what I liked about this is it includes this little zipper pouch here that you can put things in. So if you have crayons that you want to pack away or stickers that you want to put in here, you can put it in there. And then it's just blank pages on the inside for them to color, put stickers in, do whatever they want on the inside. And this one was $3 and it was from the Target Dollar Spot over the summer. Um, and it's just this little cat and a dog on the front of it. So this will also go in her stocking. Uh, from the Dollar Tree, I got these spinning tops. And this is a bit random. I usually try not to buy this kind of throwaway item. But my older daughter has a little treasure chest at daycare. And they have this in the treasure chest that you can pick a prize. She picked one of these one day and has been obsessed with it. So um, I saw these and I thought they were big enough for my two-year-old who does not quite have the dexterity for the little ones. I thought this might be easier for her to manage. Um, so each one will get one of these Minnie Mouse spinning tops to just play with. I also got this mess-free uh, marker coloring book that has, it's uh, My Little Pony and it's got a mess-free marker. And I love these because they do not make a mess because the marker only shows up on this special paper. So um, this was at the Target dollar spot for $3. Belt Dollhouse. So I got this at the Target dollar spot. I just got it a couple of weeks ago when they just started putting out their Christmas stuff. This is one of those items that if you don't get it the minute they restock it, you won't even realize it was out. Because I got it, I think, the day they restocked. And then when I went back, I never saw it again. I was just at Target today. And today, for reference, is the day before Thanksgiving. And I did see them restock. I think they're restocking in anticipation of Black Friday. Uh, and all the shoppers coming in. So this is a good time to go and check out your local Target because they probably just restocked these in anticipation of the rush. Uh, this is $3 and I really liked this. I saw it last year and just didn't realize what it was, didn't pay attention to it and didn't get it. And it's a little felt dollhouse and inside are felt people. The, the little bed has a cover you can pull back and put the felt person in it. And I just thought it's so cute. And this is another great item for the car ride to take with us when we're going out, when we're going to a doctor's appointment or just at a restaurant. These are cute and I love that it has little handles, easy to transport. And for three bucks, it'll um, get a lot of use with our girls. Um, so that is the felt dollhouse. If you watched the last video, you saw that one of the big shared gifts for both girls is going to be that Peppa Pig light and sound house. Well, to go with that, <clears throat> I got my little one a couple of extra figures. So I've got this um, Madame Gazelle, which I never find her in any play set. So I thought this was a great find at Target. It was maybe $3, $4. And um, I found it in the Lego section. So it is not in the Peppa Pig section at Target. It is with the Legos. Um, but it's a really nice size. Um, and I think they'll like that. And then I got Granny Pig, who's also another one that I don't often see in the little play figure sets. So I got her Granny Pig. Um, and this was in the Peppa Pig section. So you should be able to find that in the section with all the Peppa Pig toys. 
So that is everything. The only thing that um, my two-year-old is missing is she's going to be getting a toothbrush. So I do have to pick up her toothbrush. It's probably going to be either a Peppa Pig toothbrush or a Shimmer and Shine toothbrush. Uh, and it'll just be one of those spin brushes that are like 4 or $5. So she will also get that. Um, but otherwise, I think she should be really all set. So now I will go to my uh, older daughter, who is four. And her stocking is going to be very similar, a lot of duplicates. There's only a couple of things that are different. But just to quick show you what is in her stocking, we've got uh, the Surprise Egg Peppa Pig. So she has one as well. She also has the Unicorn um, pen from the Target Dollar Spot. That was a dollar. She has her toothbrush already. And this is her favorite pony, Pinkie Pie. So we got the Pinkie Pie Spin Brush. From, I think I got it from Target. She also has the puffy glittery stickers that are um, fun. The little notebook that she can put her stickers and color in. And then she also got a My Little Pony um, mess free marker uh, imagining set here that she can um, use in the car or at restaurants. She has the same um, bag from the Dollar Tree, but this hers is My Little Pony, and it's the same concept. It actually has a pop-out board um, and different activities inside it and washable markers. So that was from the Dollar Tree. She has the felt house. Same thing from the Target Dollar Spot. And then this is where things start to differ a little bit, where she and her sister don't have the exact same things, just because she's a little older and has an interest in some things that the older, the little one is not quite ready for yet. Um, my four-year-old loves having her nails painted, so one of the things, um, my niece paints her nails every time that she sees my niece, she says, oh, I gotta get my nails painted. Um, so she's really into getting her nails painted, so I thought, you know, for stocking stuff, I knew I wanted to get her some nail polish. Um, so I found this at Walmart and it is called Piggy Paint and it's just a little nail polish set. It comes with three different colors and then one that functions as a base coat and top coat and then it has a little nail file. So I thought it was cute. It was about $8 at Walmart and I like this because it's non-toxic. It's easy to come off so it's not going to stay on very long and for kids who put their hands in their mouth, get into all sorts of things and don't wash their hands as much as they should, I wanted something that was non-toxic. Now... I have not used Piggy Paint before, so I am not going to run out and recommend it. I have read the reviews on it, and the reviews are mixed. So some people love Piggy Paint and thought it was great, and some people said it didn't last very long. It came off, like, within a couple of days or hours in some cases. I tend to manage my expectations. This is for a toddler. Um, I, I think it's a stretch for me to be looking for something that has lasting power that is a no chip long wear nail polish that is also toxic free for a toddler. I'm a grown woman and I can't find a chip proof long lasting long wearing nail polish. So I'm not going into this expecting a whole lot. It's a fun little project and a girl's activity for us. And, you know, if I paint her nails and, and, and the next day she gets them all messed up, I, I don't mind. It's more about the experience and the fun of her feeling all grown up having pretty pink nails. And if it doesn't last very long, I'm okay with that. There will come a time where she can get more adult nail polish that will last a little longer. I'm not super worried about a four-year-old. Um, so, but this is cute and I know she will be excited because she does not have any nail polish of her own. Um, so this is going to be exciting for her. I also got her some twistable color pencils. She's into coloring with color pencils right now. And I like these because they don't have to constantly sharpen them. They just twist up and you can retract them down. Um, so this is a set of 12 and I got this from Walmart for about three or four bucks. So I thought this was really cute. To put her new color pencils in, I picked up this really cute pencil case and she's just going to feel like she's all grown up. She's, she's got her own pencil case, her own pe color pencils, and I got this from the Target dollar spot for $3. Um, and I just picked this up, so this is not one of those things that I got over the summer. So you should still be able to find these pencil cases in the dollar spot or Bullseye's Playground. Um, and I love it because it's got little sequins in there that kind of move around. It's glittery. It's fun. 
but the nice part is it is all enclosed in a nice flexible plastic so I do not have to worry about glitter all over everything or the sequins escaping or any of that stuff. So I get to have all the fun and glitz and glamour without the mess um, because it is all completely sealed and you can't get to any of the little bits and bobs that are inside of it, but it's still really fun to look at. So I think she's going to love it. Um, and this is going to be really fun for her. So that is what she has in her stocking. And the only other thing um, that she may get in her stocking are underwear. Uh, which is not going to be exciting for her, but I still need to pick up a pack of like My Little Pony underwear for her. Um, but otherwise, I think that's everything. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this one, but the, this is just some lip balm for both of them. So each of them will get one of these little EOS lip balms. Both of my girls have sensitive skin, so I tend not to buy the cheapy lip balm um, that they love that has all the characters on it. I try to get things um, that won't irritate their skin. Um, so that's why they get the EOS lip balm. Otherwise, I would be a huge fan of the cheapy, the cheapy lip gloss that's fun and colorful. But otherwise, I think that's everything, guys. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you got some ideas from it. Comment down below on what you guys are putting in your stockings. I always love to read the comments and see any fun ideas that you guys have thought of. Uh, I will probably do one more video this holiday season to just show you all what is in my girls' Night Before Christmas box. Uh, and I may merge that with what's in my, what my daughter's getting for her birthday. I may put those two videos together uh, and just do one more video in this holiday series. Um, and so hopefully you'll find that helpful if you're looking at for ideas for kind of night before Christmas or if you have a child that has a birthday right around the holiday that kind of bookends it one way or the other, um, you might get some fun ideas for that. So that'll be the next video. It'll probably be out sometime next week. Um, and so thumbs up if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and I will continue to put out videos, um, on what I get my girls, some of the things I do with my girls. And the next video again will be the night before Christmas box. So have a wonderful Thanksgiving for all of you that are watching this before Thanksgiving. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.